as humans, our life works when we come out of our center, when we are in touch with who we are at our deepest depth, and at the very deepest part of that is where we connect with God, where God is calling us into being, and where God is manifesting through us. To the extent that we can be in touch with that and manifest that, that's what we bring into our actions and then bring into the world. And our world so deeply needs it. So obviously, we look around, uh, read the newspaper, we see the immense need that we can come to a world and bring it love and forgiveness and trust and generosity and caring in place of the greed and the selfishness and the unforgiving and the resentment and so on that is so seemingly native to our fallen human nature. So we want to be able to bring this God presence from the depths of our being into a world that is crying out for it. And in particular why I'm centering on this prayer is because our world offers a distraction in any number of ways. I mean, distraction has always been a part of the human existence. And we read the Desert Fathers and they'll talk about distraction and so on. But with our incredible intelligence creating technology, we have so multiplied the possibility of distraction, of being in touch with my iPhone and my iPad and my internet and my this and my that, that I never get quiet. I can be in the car and I'm talking, or I'm doing this and I'm talking, or I'm working at something and I have something playing in my ear. And to some extent, multitasking is a benefit, I suppose, but the risk is we don't ever quiet down enough to get down into that inside part of our soul so that we can get refreshed there and we can bring from that point, that place of being in us, that presence, the presence of God in us, the presence of our deepest human spirit, we can bring that into the world through our actions, through um, writing, through whatever we do, or I believe actually even just by living it and by praying it, it has a beneficial effect on the world and can quiet down the noise and quiet down all of those impulses we have uh, toward operating out of the false self and bring us as a human family more into the true self, the God being that each of us shares so that we really are in this world transforming it with the Christ energy and the God energy. So that, that's how I look upon the value of, of this prayer and the technique in particular, excuse me, the method in particular of quieting the mind in the midst of all our technological distraction possibility to quiet down into that place so that we can be there and come from there in our action and in our prayer.